हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्री क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजी टुडे वी आर डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग सम कॉमनली यूज इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स व्हिच आर वाइडली यूज इन फार्माकोलॉजी फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंटल पर्पस सो टू टाइप्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर यूज सम इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दे आर यूज फॉर इंटैक एनिमल सम इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दे आर यूज फॉर आइसोलेटेड टिश्यू प्रिपरेशन सो इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस few of the instruments which are widely or you can say commonly used for doing experiments in pharmacology so the first instrument is the student organ bath the term itself indicate the organ bath so it is a bath it is the area which provides the organ to uh, put or to keep the organ so this is what the structure of organ bath it is a uh, widely used uh, in many of the institution as per uh, pci norms also this uh, organ bath is compulsory now this instrument is used to study the effect of drug or drugs on isolated animal tissue so this organ bath uh, having the physiological salt solution it is a bath which containing the water and in this is the organ tube in this tube you have to mount the isolated tissue and this tissue is tied to the liver and this liver record the responses on the drum so for this purpose this organ bath is used this is used in this case the tissue is mounted with which provided a necessary environment suppose you have put the tissue into organ tube the organ tube is filled with the physiological salt solution which provides all the nutrition to the tissue this was first designed by rudolf magnus in 1904 the application of this organ bath is used to maintain the integrity of muscle tissue for several hours in a controlled environment then quality quantify the effect of treatment with contractile and relaxing agent so when you put the isolated tissue it either undergo contraction or relaxation so from the, the from this property you can find out the nature of the drug and for that purpose it is used then it also helps to understand the affinity as well as the efficacy of agonist as well as antagonist type of the drug then use in drug discovery and safety pharmacology purpose it used to identify the type of the receptor that is receptor study localization and characterization of the receptor another part which is attached to this student organ bath is the rotating drum this is the picture of rotating drum it is used to record the contraction or relaxation of the isolated tissue preparation the recording drum uh, the recording is done on the chymograph paper previously it was smoke and then recording was carried out but nowadays on this recording drum a chymograph paper which is white in color is fixed on this recording drum or circular cylinder and this drum is uh, rotated with different speed so here the speed adjustment is given and from that the speed of the drum is operated this is used to record the effect of drug responses this is what ideal recording after recording it will shows such types of graph on the chymogram paper in experimental physiology and pharmacology laboratory it is widely used so dear students the actual description and working of student organ bath and a rotating drum we will cover in separate video which i will going to upload soon another instrument is the actophotometer this is the instrument actophotometer this is also known as activity cage or activity monitor 
दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज टू मेजर द मोटर एक्टिविटी ऑफ द एनिमल और लोको मोटर एक्टिविटी ऑफ द एनिमल इन दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट बोथ हॉरिजेंटल और परपेंडिकुलर मूवमेंट दैट इज रेयरिंग कैन बी मेजर्ड ऑफ द एनिमल द एप्लीकेशन इज वाइट बट हियर इफ यू सी दिस द एक्टो फोटोमीटर वर्किंग इज ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन माई YouTube channel you can go for details used to measure locomotor activity of the animal used to study the cns depressant or cns stimulant types of the drugs and behavior activity in the animals then another instrument that is analgesiometer so analgesic are the drugs which relieve the pain to check the analgesic activity of the drug some instruments are there which are again widely used so the analgesiometer is an instrument used to measure anti nociceptive or analgesic uh, uh, pain relieving activity in both rats as well as in the mice so two types of instruments are used one is the eddies hot plate method and another is radiant heat analgesiometer so both these instruments are used to check the centrally analgesic activity in the animal these are used in basic pain research to check analgesic activity of the drug and they use a behavioral model of nociception where behavior such as jumping and hind paw licking are observed following a noxious thermal stimulus so the complete description of this analgesiometer is also given in separate video in my preclinical youtube channel then if you see the first that is eddies hot plate apparatus here this is the structure of figure of uh, eddies hot plate apparatus so it is a simple instrument here the hot plate or hot surface of metal is heated electrically here is the plate and this plate is covered with the flexi glass and uh, uh, here the temperature controller is given one has to uh, start the instrument and this plate get heated and the temperature should be maintained up to 55 degree centigrade and the animal are gently placed on the hot plate and time required to jumping or licking of paw is noted which gives the analgesic activity so the cut off time for this experiment is 20 second to avoid the damage to the nerve ending of the paw and analgesia is considered as a 100% then another is the analgesiometer radiant heat analgesiometer this is the instrument so in this case there is a nichrome wire wire which is provided and this wire is surrounded by a water jacket to prevent the heating of the surrounding area and the temperature provided is 55 degree centigrade so animal uh, rat or mice the tail of the animals are put on the nichrome wire and time required to flick or remove the tail is noted the cut off time for this experiment is also 20 second so both this analgesic and analgesiometer hot plate meter they are separate video of actual experiment performance is put is already uploaded on the channel next is the convulsometer this is the convulsometer it is also called as electric convuls electro convulsometer so the instrument deliver electric current of varying intensity to cornea or pinna of the ear of rat and mouse so in this case this instrument is designed in such a way that it will provide or it will supply the electric current of various intensity when the uh, uh, ear clips are put into the ear pinna of the rat and that will produces the minimal and supra maximal seizure then these are used for applying maximum electroshock that is seizure to the animal and used to study the anti convulsant activity of drug then rotor rod apparatus 
this is the figure of retroid apparatus this is used to study the effect of drug on motor coordination and balance in rodents it provides a quick and simple estimation of neuromuscular coordination that is muscle coordination in animal the apparatus consists of motorized circular rod during running uh, turning at a constant or increased speed so if you see the figure it containing the rod and it is moving at a various speed you can put the animal on this rod and start the apparatus the fall of time of the animal should be uh, noted which indicates the muscle coordination activity in the animal then this is used to evaluate drug effects on motor coordination balance and motor learning in rodents they are also used to evaluate muscle contraction and relaxation activity then metabolic cage this is a uh, design to measure the fluid intake that is water intake feed intake and from this the urine collection is carried out so this is used when you require a quantitative and qualitative uh, parameter of metabolic changes for that purpose this metabolic cage is used it is collection of feces and urine from experimental animal like mice and rat can be done by using the metabolic cage indirectly it will helps to measure the energy expenditure physical activity Uh, and food water intake capacity of the animal then another important instrument is elevated plus mesh this is the figure of elevated plus mesh it consisting of two close arm and two open arm of different size for rat and uh, size for the mice and this all this mesh is elevated from the floor the animal are placed in the center of elevated plus mate with their head facing the open arm in this case the number of entries in open as well as close arm along with the time spent in close as well as the open arm are recorded application of this instrument is that used for identification of angiogenic means those drug which in which induces the anxiety and anxiolytic those drug which removes the anxiety both types of drugs can be tested using elevated plus maze this used to learning and memory in rodents in presence and absence of the drug you can observe the learning and memory before drug administration and after drug administration by using this elevated plus maze then whole board apparatus this test uh, rodents are observed for a head dipping into holes in the floor and is considered a measure of fear of novelty that is neophilia so here uh, the uh, this uh, plate having the holes at specific uh, difference the 16 holes are given and they are elevated with certain distance when you keep the animal into this for this animal it is a new area or new place so for a new place it has some uh, fear and that is what called as the neophilia so one can observe the number and time of uh, head dipping into the hole it is used to measure the exploratory behavior during the anxiety in rodents so all these uh, instruments uh, we have just given the introduction in this video but if you go through the uh, pre clinical pharmacology channel i have uploaded individual instrument and their uses with one simple experiment which will be helpful for you to understand how these instruments are working so thank you to all if you like this video just uh, share subscribe and likes this video thank you